1500 Hey guys Welcome back to another video today. We're doing a tutorial video how to get gutter at gorilla tag uh, This is my friend froggy I'd call him and she's I'm gonna be joining Frog. us with the Video today, so let's get to it So if you're just new and you're starting at Gorilla Tag, then you might want to learn how to run gutter. <laughs> how to run gutter. <laughs> so most new monkeys, they just run like this. Or they run like this. Which is not good, because the more air time you have, the slower you'll be. So you want to have less air time as possible. You want to run parallel to the floor, just like this. No air. You don't want to go, you don't want to go higher than here when you're running. All right, second thing. If you're running away from lava monkeys, so white is gonna help me demonstrate this. Froggy chase me. If you're running away from lava monkeys, you don't wanna be on the floor. Cause lava monkeys have ultimate like speed boost and they can catch you really easily if you're on the floor. So what you wanna do, you wanna go on these platforms, run up here, make sure your body doesn't hit right here when you're climbing because it makes it really hard to climb. So try to keep your feet like this. You can go you can go up here, you can branch, which I'll talk about later. Which leads us to our to another thing. Pinch climbing and wall bouncing. Just like that. So pinch climbing and wall bouncing can have different speeds. When you're pinch climbing, you can you can hang on to here as long as you want. Like you can chill here for a few hours, which you won't be able to do because your Oculus will probably die. But anyways, you pull up like this. Just grab and pull up, pull up until you get to the top. Wall bouncing is a little bit more difficult for new monkeys. Wall bouncing, you have to pull up and diagonal. So you're bouncing onto the wall. A lot of new monkeys, they get off track just like white's doing. So you want to wall bounce like this. If you get off track right here, try to get back in the middle. Let's say you're wall bouncing and you want to stay at this line right here. You just want to stay close to this line and you don't want to go farther away from it. If you get over here to this line, then you want to go back to this line. So basically, line tracking helps you wall bounce better. And then you can do, when, when you get really good at it, you can do the um, J-Man curly wall bounce. I like to call it like this. Just like that. All right. Uh, what to explain next? Oh yeah branching so branching can go many different ways there's two ways you can branch you can free roam and you can use routes you can look up routes from YouTube or you can make your own so routes are basically hopping from a series of branches like you know where you're gonna go. 
free roaming was much different. Free roaming, you go anywhere. You can go anywhere, like here, like here. And then you can pinch climb up here, maybe go over here. That's free roaming. I honestly feel like free roaming, you have to practice because having routes would be more difficult. Or no, not being a, having routes would be easier. Um, you might see some routes that I use in some other videos. Just like this one I'm using right here. So now, after branching, I think you're ready for a hospital flip. The hospital flip, oh dang it, it's pretty hard, but it gets really easy once you learn it. So all you want to do, you want to take your right hand and put it at the edge of the branch. You, you want to make sure you're facing the edge of the branch rather than here because then you'll go off the edge of the branch when you hospital flip. So if you wanna go towards there, then you wanna face the edge of the branch. If you wanna go towards the wall, then you wanna, you wanna face the tree. So just like this, you wanna put your hand right here, go under and turn, and then fling yourself forward like that. Last slow mo, let me show you in real time. Here, right here, right here, white, right here. You wanna do it on thin branches. Branches, it's way more easier on thin branches rather than thick ones. So you wanna go over right here, just like that. Make sure you dodge your head because your head is solid, is solid. The solid points on your little monkey body are your wrists, like right here, your palms, and your head. Your your body, I guess it could be solid, but if you do this, it's easier. This is not solid at all. Your arm are, are not solid at all. So you can use that to your advantage, which takes us to our next part, elevator climbing. Now let me tell you right here, I am not good at elevator climbing at all. So any good elevator climbers watching this, please don't make fun of me. I can't do this. Elevator climbing, you wanna put your arm through here and stick, stick your wrist. You wanna fling yourself up Dang, what? Like this, you just keep flinging yourself up. I can't do it that well, but Froggy can. Good job, Froggy. <laughs> and for our next next one, I want Froggy to demonstrate this because they've been practicing this for a long time. Froggy, I would like you to demonstrate wall climbing. You can talk. You can talk if you want. We can't hear you, by the way. I can't hear you. Yep, see exactly like Froggy's doing. So basically, it's like wall bouncing. But at an angle. Oh my god. Good job. Good job. Good job. Fist bump. Fist bump. It's like wall jump bouncing, but at an angle. So you want to take your wrists, like your sides right here, and bounce from wall to wall. Or no. From one side of the wall to the other side. This is like the most famous part to wall climb. because it's the easiest part. It has like a really good angle for you to wall climb. 
so after you've learned wall climbing, you've mastered it, just like this, this, like this, it's really easy to practice. You can practice the movements like that. It's kind of like surfing on the wall. Surfing, surf, surf, surf. Just like ice skating. So after you've mastered wall climbing, you want to do wall running, what I just did right there. Wall running can be a really easy way to juke monkeys. And it can be really fun at the same time. <laughs> wall running really helps with one hand wall climbing, which is this. So learning how to wall run can help you. Wall running <sighs> has to be at a slant. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but it's easier at a slant. <sighs> it is much more harder when you're not on a slant. You can practice on stump right here, because stump, stump is at the perfect slant. <laughs> Just like this. And then, once you've done, I'd say about like three to five laps around stump, you can go to caves and you can practice there. Let's go. Caves is basically the same slant as well. Right here. So you can just practice wall running along here. So when you get to here, just walk, walk across. And then practice the slant all along here. And then take about four or five laps around caves. It's really easy to practice while running, especially when you put yourself in a situation where lava monkeys are tra chasing you. So, <sighs> the next thing I wanna tell you guys about is juking. So just like the hospital flip I showed you earlier, just like this. <sighs> That's a juke. You can use it to make <laughs> to make monkeys trip up when they're chasing you. So let's say they, they think you're gonna run along here for the entire time, and then you just do that. You just make a random sharp turn. <sighs> One of the most famous jukes are pole spinning. Just like this. Again, this is a, um, I don't know what you'd call it. This is an arm advantage. So post spinning, you can go right here and put your arm, <sighs> put the edge of your wrist right here, just like this, and grab like that. Make sure when you're post spinning, you don't use the turn with your thumbstick and you're actually like spinning in real life because it's really hard to use the turn with the thumbstick while pulse spinning because you don't know where you're gonna go um same thing here you can use the pillars and gazebo it's much more thicker it's probably gonna be harder to do it but yeah um, I think that's all for this video. Comment down below if I should do a part two or not.
I honestly don't mind. And thank you, Froggy, for joining me. And thank you for watching. Goodbye!